All righty, this is a quick one. Um, recently, I bought, uh, built that flight case here, which um, I now somewhat dismantled because I wanted to get um, time code, time code into into my video. And um, as it seems, the um, this television studio does not really support time code. This is the device I have here. And the um, HyperDeck Mini does not support either time, um, time code as an input. So I did the following. Um, I have um, sound devices A3 here, and I will probably sync that. First, before I do anything, I set it to jam once, so now it's jammed. And um, what I'm doing now is I will try to disconnect that and connect the um, limo. Oh, damn it. I will connect the, um, the limo 5 cable um, to my mini converter audio to SDI. Can you see that? And I took the output from my television studio HD put it into the audio SDI and took the out output from it into the to the web uh, into the HyperDeck mini and um, with that I actually embed the audio on channel number three and um, the the HyperDeck is set to um, I can't really see that it's set to four channels which um, by default should be 60 channels anyway um, by that you will not see that the time code is being inserted into the STI stream, but you can see somehow the audio the, the audio levels on the, on the left and right side, and you can somehow see it here on the on the uh, HyperDeck Mini as well, maybe. But um, the third channel is uh, nevertheless recorded and um, will be on, on the final video. And um, by doing that, you actually get the time code from the recorder into the video. And when you want to um, get the, um, the time code uh, from the audit track, for example, in DaVinci Resolve, you just say uh, click, uh, right click, um, read audio TC, and then it's being inserted into the video file. So this is it, quick one, maybe not the best sound, maybe not the best video. I'm filming that with my GoPro Hero 7 Black, and I'm talking into a um, voice technologies VT500 lovely microphone that is I can actually show it to you is connected to my um, Zaxcom CMT3 that is in turn connected to the QX200 that is in turn connected via AES to the 833 and from there it takes X1, X2 output into the television studio and um, from there into the HyperDeck Mini with timecode. Excellent. So, till next time.